Some group members of the People's Democratic Party in Ekiti State have staged a protest to show their grievances. It's over the irregularities that marred the conduct of the just-concluded ad hoc ward congress. The protesters were led by some of the governorship aspirants on the platform of the party, including former Governor Engineer Shegun Uni. He rejected the Congress, which was supervised by the committee set up by the National Secretariat. The protesters converged on the junction of Dalimo area of Adduekiti. They were seen chorusing no Congress, cancelled the exercise, while some of them carried placards with inscriptions bearing their minds and agitation. What national body to do is to do away with delegates. They should go and use the automatic delegates. That one will not be controversial. That will be straightforward. Those people, this, those people, those people are all right for us. They are elderly person in the party. They've been selected them long time ago. We are saying no to Mahoma of Ekiti. We want the Congress to be council immediately. In fact, I am very sure that the national will do justice to this issue. They know that one person cannot be cannot be dragging our party like this in Ekiti. We want to win. We want to win 2022 by God's grace. We are begging the national to cancel the Congress immediately. We say no to Mao Mao in the Kiti state. Speaking with newsmen, Senator Olujimi alleged that former governor of the state, Ayodele Fayoshi, hijacked the election materials, thus preventing a free, fair process. There is a need to listen to the people of Ekiti. There is a need to look at other ways of resolving these issues. There is a need for everyone to sit on a table and reconcile. Without that, the elections here will be very tough for our party. Oh, I have heard that they, they protested today. I have also been told that they protested in front of the party secretary in Wadata Abuja. They, we, have, they say they are, they are, we have process. When you, do, when you conduct a congress, successfully conducted as has been done on Saturday, the next step is to approach the appeal committee to be set up by the party and ventilate your grievances. It is not by protesting, it is not by calling people names. And we're being joined by uh, Lanre Ogunsui. He is the former commissioner for information in Equity State. Yeah, good evening. Thank you very much for joining us. He is anti-protest. And of course, we're, we also have Liri Olainka. He is a director of media and publicity, BC Kolawali Campaign Organization, and he's pro-protest. All right, gentlemen, thank you very much for joining us. Yeah, good evening. Thank you very much. Good evening. So I'm going to start with um, the uh, Kolawali um, organization representative. You're pro the protests. Uh, and why are you in support of this protest? As, as we are hearing from that report, that there are other means of addressing this issue at the party uh, national level. Why go through the protest? You, you want me to react to that? Yes, I want to hear why you're in support of the protest and why this protest even happened in the first place. In democracy, protests are normal. And also in uh, politics, conflicts are very, very normal. It is the way of resolving conflicts that uh, there won't be so much damage that we can talk about. Protest is a, a, a way of pouring out emotions about actions and inactions within an organization. I'm happy that the protests are peaceful. I'm happy that the protests are, they are not ambiguous. They are, they are straightforward. And they, what they want is, a, take for example, in my local government, uh, there, I was to bring the, uh, the party electoral officers to the local government. And I did contact them. And they assured me, he asked me to stay. They told me that I can't contact them, but that they will rely on me to lead them to the local government. But at about five o'clock, and they stopped picking my calls. And so they, nobody came to my local government. You can only appeal a process, but when there is no process, you cannot appeal what didn't take place. So you're, you so, so you're telling me that there was no um, Congress in your local government area 
and therefore I, can't be in, I, can't, I cannot be in the 177 words, but in my word, which is the Gogo word one in the Mambaloku government, as well as the 11 other words in the Mambaloku government, people waited and waited and waited, and there were no officers. So what are we going to appeal? Something that didn't take place. So we have to allow the people to know the National Working Committee that there was no, you can only appeal an irregular election, but if there was nothing, then what are you going to appeal? Okay. Um, Mr. Gunika, I'm lying, I beg your pardon. Um, Okay, Mr. Gunsuri, I beg your pardon. You're the one who is uh, against this protest. You're saying that there was a free and no, fair... No, I'm not, I'm not against... I'm, in fact, I come from a protest background in politics. But I was a student union president. And you will know that in student unionism, we do protest regularly okay. against water, light, small food, security... So I come from a protest culture, but you know, because I believe that I believe that the world in itself, as it stands today, is because of people who protested against existing stru structures and systems. That's why we move forward. So long as the protests are not violent, I think protests are useful. Interesting. Um, okay, let me come to you, um, Larry. What exactly is your position on what happened on Saturday? Was there or was there not a Congress of sorts? And the results that were sent to the National, where did those results come from? What do we do now that you have protested? What do you think the National's reaction is going to be? Again, I asked at the beginning, there is a modus operandi. There, is, there are ways that you go about it without having to protest. But now you have protested. What responses are you hoping to get from the National on this issue? The, the National Working Committee is a brand new National Working Committee. It was actually brought in place because they felt that they, those people can do a better job than the people that they replaced. So... It is hoped that since this is their first outing, and uh, well, you can say it is a hot one, but mm -hmm. they are going to now bring. I know Senator Ayu very well. Mm -hmm. I he actually presided over his own removal in 1993 as a form of a, of deepening democracy. So if you know if you know that story very well, he sat down. And mm -hmm. people voted against him. And he came down. He stepped down. But today, is he down? So I believe that those with those experiences, he will be able to tell the gladiators that the interest of the party members should be supreme. Okay. All right. It is not about, yeah, it's not about who is a senior, who is the most dexterous in politics, who is fastest. It is about... What can you get for your party members? Okay. Because the intersane crisis within the party is robbing the party of victory. Okay. The state is a natural state for PDP. All right. And I think that I think that Larry Lainka has just joined us. Let's quickly get to hear his thoughts, uh, Mr. Lainka. Uh, we lost you for a second there. Quickly tell me what you think about the process that happened in Ekiti yeah. on Saturday. Yeah. Well, the the process. Uh, was, it was clear to all it was a congress that was that was duly con, that was conducted in accordance with the constitution and of the and guided from a electoral committee had a meeting with the stakeholders in World Hotel in Agriculture. And the meeting at the meeting, all the aspirants, the major aspirants, I think eight aspirants were were represented in that meeting. I was there. After the meeting, issues questions were asked, issues were raised, and the committee that came, the group that came from Abuja, clearly and successfully answered all the questions raised. At some point, the committee chairman, the person who stood for the committee chairman, that is the, the former national legal advisor of the party, had to read the, the, the party guideline in respect to the conduct of, of Congress, Congress is told the people there. And after that, materials 
two, 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 two agents were appointed by the aspirant there. Two, two people were appointed as agents. And materials for each local government were distributed to the three, uh, three local government and federal officers, also appointed by the party. Those three people by local government did not come from a bit. They, they did not come home. Some, some of them are from the north, some of them are from east. They came to a city, at 48 of them, for that, for, for, for that purpose. Materials were distributed to them in the presence of agents of the aspirants. But those people move to, the, to their respective local governments. Well, there are people and who are claiming the, the, that they the, did the, not the see... There are people who are claiming... House. I'm sorry, hang on. There are people who are complaining that they did not see anybody from that group in their local governments or even in their wards, and they waited till evening. There was it was a no show. You see, you see, you see, so you see, how did how how do you categorize this as a free fair process that you say was the duly conducted? The question, the question is this: the issue is this: the the the, the conference conduct of the conference. There is there is. The, the, the task guidelines. The party in the state, it is the duty of the party in the state to appoint two elect two world returning officers per ward. That means two times one seven seven words. That that one was done by the party. It is the duty of those two 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 world returning officers to go to the wards and conduct the congresses. That the congress said that it is now the duty of those world returning officers to come back to the local government collation office. And many returns to the local government electoral officers. Those local government electoral officers will now bring the results to the electoral committee in Agriculture. So quickly, all these were done. Okay, so quickly all because were because done. we're almost Unfortunately, because we're almost out of time. I'll just ask one quick question. Now that we're seeing protest in Ekiti State against the process. What do you think needs to be done? Because, again, if the PDP is inten uh, intending to win the APC in the Kitty elections, its house must not be divided. So what is the way forward? Quickly. Protests like this is no more in a demo. Protests, protests, complain. So let me give you an example. In 2018, was, there was crisis that, that, that the primary was disrupted. It has to be postponed, and, and they later had the primary. The present governor was pelted with pure water, sachet of pure water. At the end of the day, the party, the party came together. That is also going to happen to PDP. Okay. People will people wish, people will express their grievances. At the end of the day, there will be reconciliation. Everybody will be brought to the table, and all of us will still have to work together. All and right. that is what is going to happen. What, what is happening? What is happening now? Like I said, is normal. All people, right. who are, people, people who are looking at defeat, once we, 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 we make noise, it is, I, I've, also, I've also been in this situation before that where I also don't even to make noise. When I, when All my, right, when we, my, we have when to go. go. Unfortunately, time is not on our side. Langre Ogunsui is a former commissioner for information in Nekiti State and also Larry Olayinka is the director of media and publicity, BC Kolawale Campaign Organization. Thank you very much, gentlemen, for speaking with us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.